na karibu tumsifu Yesu Kristu basi nachukua hii fursa ni mwalike padri Anton Njenga mkuu wa shirika letu la wana wafadhiliza Mungu hapa Kenya Don Orione Fathers ili aweze kutukaribisha kirasmi na pia aweze ku, kumwalika Sao Susan padri Marcelo Voski ambaye ni mjumbe mkuu wa ujumbe wa Maria Mama wa kanisa aweze kutuongoza kwenye ibada hii takatifu ya misa Mungu ni mwema kila wakati na kila wakati basi na wakaribisheni nyinyi nyote siku ya leo tunaposherekea ndugu zetu watano ambao wanaweka nadhiri za daima waweze kumtumikia Mungu katika maisha yao yote katika shirika la wana fadhili za Mungu na pia kwa njia ya kipekee nakaribisha wazazi wa kaka zetu and also I would like to take this opportunity to thank Father Marcelo our delegate superior and we welcome him to preside over this celebration as we celebrate the nativity of our lady welcome father In the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My brothers and sisters, welcome. Let us prepare ourselves to celebrate with dignity this celebration. Let us acknowledge our sins. And so prepare ourselves to meet Jesus. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through most grievous fault, therefore I ask Blessed Mary, every virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Oh, 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 oh,
the nativity of the Blessed Virgin may bring deep our peace to those for whom the birth of her son was the dawning of salvation. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen.
masomo yetu ya leo. Somo la kwanza linatoka katika kitabu cha nabii Hosea sura ya pili kuanzia mstari wa 16 mpaka 17 kisha 21 mpaka 22. Wimbo wa katikati ni kutoka Zaburi 13 sita aba, sita ba. Na injili takatifu kama ilivyoandikwa na mtakatifu Madhayo sura ya kwanza kuanzia msari wa 18 mpaka 23 tusikilize masomo kwa njia ipasavyo A reading from the prophet Hosea The Lord says this I am going to lead her out into the wilderness and speak to her heart There she will respond to me as she did when she was young as she did when she came out of the land of Egypt i will betroth you to myself forever betroth you with integrity and justice with tenderness and love i will betroth you to myself with faithfulness and you will come to know the lord the word of the lord wimbo wa katikati maneno ya kuitikizana nitafurahi sana katika Bwana 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 Nitafurahi sana katika na mimi mezitumaini ya fadhili zako moyo wangu na ufurahie wokovu wako nitafurahi sana katika bwana nitafurahi sana katika bwana Nam limwithie Bwana kwa kuwa amenitendea kwa ukaribu Nitafurahi sana katika Bwana Nitafurahi sana katika Bwana Nitafurahi sana katika Bwana Nitafurahi sana katika Bwana Nitafurahi sana katika
happening always. From you, Ross, the Son of Justice, Christ our God. how the birth of Jesus Christ came about. When his mother Mary was betrothed to Joseph, but before they lived together, she was found with child through the Holy Spirit. Joseph, her husband, says he was a righteous man, yet unwilling to expose her to shame, decided to divorce her quietly. Such was his intention when, behold, the angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream and said, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary, your wife, into your home. For it is through the Holy Spirit that this child has been conceived in her. She will bear a son and you have named him Jesus, because he will save his people from their sins. All this took place to fulfill what the Lord has said through the prophet. Behold, the virgin shall be with child and bear a son, and they shall name him Emmanuel, which means God is with us. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise you, Lord Jesus Christ. Na kwa sasa, na malika upade Anthony Ndenga, adonge ya pambele, na kwa kabili makadidati, kwa padre Marcelo. Wataitua moja moda na kuitika. Kisha padre Marcelo, ataweza kuwa na maudiano nao. May the one who requests perpetual profession answer after I call him by name. Brother Antero Lejos Junior Cisneros. You have called me, here I am. Brother John Carl, Jean Volante. You have told me, here I am. <clears throat> Brother Vitri, Luberne, Moon. You have called me, here I am. Brother George Fernandez, you have called me, here I am. Brother Pierre Togaba Kotamba, you have called me, here I am.
Reverend Father Marcelo, our brothers Antero, John Cam, Wycliffe, George, and Pierre here present, after their novitiate, have experienced religious life in our institute for almost five years for some, for others, more than five years. They are asking today to be admitted to perpetual profession. My dear brothers, what do you ask of God and his holy church? With the help of God, I, Anteros Esneros Mijos Jr. I, John Carl Jean Vinos Volante. I, Wycliffe Lumembe Mumia. I, George Fernandez. I, Pierre Togaba Kutamba. I have come to know the life of religious dedication in our institute. Father, I now ask to be allowed to make perpetual profession in the religious family of the sons of the divine providence. May the glory of God and the service of the church so as to bring my baptismal consecration to fulfillment. Trusting in the help of God, in the name of the church, we admit these brothers to perpetual religious profession. Thanks be to God. morning to everyone. Next time I promise we'll be in Swahili, okay? <laughs> next time, I don't know when, but next time. My brothers and sisters in the Lord, this happy occasion of meeting together this morning gives us the joy to celebrate this Eucharist as a part of the Thanksgiving for the 25th anniversary of the presence of the Sons of Divine Providence in Kenya. In a very special way, I did all my brothers in the priesthood and all my brothers in the religious life. Being present allows me to greet you and encourage you to continue to consecrate your life to God through our specific charism, to restoring everything in Christ. It is particular to our congregation. I greet you all, brothers, in the Lord Jesus, with the certainty that the consecrated life is at the very heart of the church, as a decisive element for her mission, since it indicates the intimate nature of our Christian vocation and the inspiration of the whole church. I am glad in an, a glad and joyful celebration such as this we have the opportunity to live and witness the perpetual consecration of these young brothers their desire for consecration reminds us all that life is only worth living when we love God and we have the full certainty that consecrated to him, we can serve others. Listening to the text of the word of God, we can share some elements that invite us to personal reflection and encourage us to be faithful. We have listened to the prophet Hosea. He is called prophet of love, who narrates his experience of wanting to win back to her the heart, the heart of his wife. He sees her to renew his love and fidelity. The prophet says, I am going to lead her out in the wilderness and speak to her heart. God speaks to us in our heart. In the same way that God speaks to people of Israel as to his soul's bride, who has been unfaithful to the promise of love, and he leads her into the desert to renew her 
covenant and love and fidelity. The desert is present to us as the most appropriate place for an encounter with God. And where we can find God's love and where we can renew our covenant with him. Israel has committed adultery, has broken the covenant. God should judge and repudiate her. But precisely, this is revealed that God is God and not man. God's fervent love for his people is at the same time a forgiving love. Love is so great that he set God against himself, his love against his justice. The Christians already see in this the veil outline of the mystery of the cross. God loves man so much, becoming man himself. He accompanies him even in a death and in this way reconciles justice and love. God loves us. He chooses Israel and loves her, although to save all mankind in this very way. Dear brothers, in these words, the plan of each one of us, it outlined. God's vocation given to us is a vocation of love, as an invitation to a personal encounter with him. His love, with his love, and with his person in Jesus Christ. Precisely from this special grace of intimacy arises in the consecrated life the possibility and the requirement of total self-giving. In the profession of the evangelical councils, before being a renunciation, there are specific acceptance of the love of God and the mystery of Christ lived in the church. By embracing chastity, God makes vir Christ's virginal love for his own and confesses him to the world as the only begotten son, one with the Father. By imitating his poverty, he confesses him as the son who receives all from the Father and returns all in love and freedom. By the mystery of filial obedience, he confesses him infinitely loved and loving as the one who delights only in the will of the Father, to whom he is perfectly united and whom he depends everything. We hear how Hosea intends to establish a covenant lo of love forever, which leads us to think about the call to live our religious vocation, loving God with all our strength. However, it refers to the need to live fully united and exclusively surrendered to Jesus forever. Dear brothers, Antero, John, Wycliffe, George, Peter, in you today, this unity with Jesus Christ is realized. This will be manifested in the right that in a few moments we are about to fulfill. The sincerity of your response to love Christ will leave you to live like a poor person and to embrace, embrace the cause of the poor, serving the poor will be an act of an evangelization and at the same time a sign of evangelical authenticity and a stimulus on ongoing conversion for you. Being poor, being poor will encourage you to assume a new and resolute evangelical witness of unnegation and sobriety a fraternal lifestyle inspired by a criteria of humility, simplicity, and fraternity, so that you may be an example also for those who remain indifferent to the needs of others. Each one of you must be an example of a lived chastity that proves balances, balances of self-control 
an initiative psychological and affective maturity. Let yourself be led into the desert by God, like Jesus, to discover the will of God being obedient. But obedient until death. Obedient is not negotiation. It's not a business gift. Obedient is to trust in God for everything that God can ask us. Fidelity to the church in thoughts, word, and deeds. This is our fourth vow. That is, by the experience of prayer and personal encounter with God, through the sacramental life of confession, a spiritual direction, within the balanced desert journey of religious life. The gospel begins with the words. This is how the word of Jesus Christ came about. Matthew then detailed the story of Mary betrothal to Joseph and the appearance of the angel announcing Mary that she would bear a child. However, Mary's child would be not conceived with Joseph, her spouse. Mary must have a loving and trusting relationship with God long before the angel appeared to her and announcing this good news because she accepted the angel's announcement without hesitation. Brothers, Mary is a model for us. Mary knew God and she trusted God. She was willing to place herself in a very awkward position when she responded to God's call to bear God's son. She didn't know how this good came about. She didn't know how her future could be. But she didn't hesitate in her response to the angel. She not say to the angel, I need to think about it. Come later. She simply say, yes, let it be done to me. Each one of us called to bear Jesus Christ to our world every single day. Could we have such faith if an angel appeared to us and made such outstanding announcement to us? Do we believe that God can and will do amazing deeds through us? Do we trust that God walk with us each and every day in good times and in difficult times? Mary was chosen by God as you are chosen by God. However, we also have been chosen by God. Ask yourself, do I truly believe this? Take some time today to be quiet, to sit down some place and repeat every time this, I am God's chosen one. I am God's chosen one. And repeat that several times and let this reality and fiat soak into your being. May our Lady, Mother of Divine Providence, all will we be for you and the model of fidelity who knows how to listen the word of God and meditate on it in her heart. May the patron saint of our religious family intercede for you so under diet guidance you may continue to collaborate in the tax of the new evangelization. And following the example of Don Orione, you may seek to have in our lives the one God who, as Orionines, has marked with a spiritual zeal our consecrated life and fulfill the will of God in a deep love for the church. Amen. Kwa sasa tukae kimya ili tuweze kutafakari hayo maneno tuliyopewa katika hotuba ya siku ya leo. Kitakachofuata sasa ni makandidati hawa wa nadhiri za daima wataweza kusimama na kujongea hapa mbele ya altari na kuhojiwa kwa nia ya kwa nia ya kuonyesha kwamba kila mmoja wao ako tayari kuzipokea nadhiri za daima na pia 
kuonyesha utayari wa kuishi nadhiri hizo ambazo ni umaskini, usafi wa kiadili, utii na uaminifu wa baba, kwa baba mtakatifu. Dear brothers, in baptism you have already died to sin and have been consecrated to God's service. Moreover, you have tried to leave the religious consecration of our little work. Are you now resolved to make your gift perfect and unite yourself more closely to God by the bond of perpetual profession? Are you resolved with the help of God to undertake the life of perfect chastity, obedience, and poverty chosen for themselves by Christ, our, our Lord, Lord, and his virgin mother, mother to persevere in it forever? I am so that the Lord may be my only master and my greatest good. The example and heritage left to us by Don Orione taught us to a generous witness of love for the church and for her visible head, the Bishop of Rome. Do you therefore wish to make a humble vow of a special fidelity to the Pope? Yes, I do, because I know that the Pope is the vicar of Christ, the teacher and the master of all the faithful. To live and work together is for us a fundamental requirement. Do you wish to live definitely in fellowship with the brothers and in particular with all the members of the little world of divine providence? Yes, I do, so that I can help to reveal to the world that God's plan is to reunite all people in unity and love. The people, the little ones, and the most needy are the first and principal beneficiaries of our mission. Do you wish to use all your strength for them, and especially for the poorest? Yes, I do, because the image of God shines in the smallest of people. Blessed be God for the grace and He has shown on you. Amen. Amen. Wakaniati watajilaza kifugifugi kwenye mkeka Na baada ya ombi ya mano kada taongoza Tutaweza kuongozwa kwa litania za wat ya watakatifu na kuwane Beloved brethren, let us pray to God the Almighty for these his servants whom he has called to follow Christ in evangelical perfection. May God, in his love, bless them with grace and strengthen them in his holy purpose.
Simama kama mashahidi watapokea nadiri kutoka kwa makandidati hao wetu kisha itafuatia itafuatiliwa na kutia sahihi pale juu ya altare I offer myself totally to the Father to be consecrated by Him 
to a new life through Christ in the Holy Spirit. I commit myself to live in the Holy Line family in communion with my brothers, adhering to Jesus crucified, in faithfulness to the Church and to the Pope, serving our poorest brothers and sisters for the sake of the Kingdom of God. Thus, trusting in the help of Mary, Immaculate Mother of God, and Mother of the Church, and trusting in the intercession of our Holy Founder and our patron saints, to you, Reverend Father Marcelo Daniel Bosque, who take the place of the Superior General of our congregation and before all you here present, I, Brother Antero Cisneros Mios Jr., make vows of chastity, poverty, obedience, and special faithfulness to the Pope for life, according to the constitutions of the little work of divine providence. May the grace of God and your brotherly communion help me to be faithful. Amen. I, Brother John Carl Jean Vinos Volante, make vows of chastity, poverty, obedience, and a special faithfulness to the Pope for life, according to the constitutions of the little work of divine providence. May the grace of God and your brotherly communion help me to be faithful. Amen. I, Brother Wycliffe Dwem Bumia, make vows of chastity, poverty, obedience, and special faithfulness to the Pope for life, according to the constitutions of the little work of divine providence. May the grace of God and your brotherly communion help me to be faithful. <coughs> Amen. I, Brother George Fernandez, make oaths of chastity, poverty, obedience, and special faithfulness to the Pope for life, according to the constitution of the little work of divine providence. May the grace of God and your brotherly communion help me to be faithful. Amen. I, Brother Togaba Ker Kutamba, make vows of chastity, poverty, obedience and of special faithfulness to the Pope for life according to the constitutions of the little work of divine providence may the grace of god and your brotherly communion help me to be faithful amen by the power that i have been given in the name of the church i receive this profession of vows that you have just made in the institute of the little work of divine providence. May God unite your offering to Christ's Christ sacrifice, sacrifice and enable you to live it to the fullness. Kwa sasa makadidati watajongea mbele ya altari ili waweze kuweka sahi na wanakwaya wakituongoza kwa wimbo wengine tunaweza keti
sasa tunaweza kusimama na wao makandidati watapiga magoti kisha Fadi Marcelo ataweza kufanya ombi na kuwapa baraka ndugu hawa ili ombi ndilo litakalo wafanya makadidati hawa kuwa wana chama wa daima wa shirika letu la wanafadhili za Mungu Sons of Divine Providence kwa daima Vinos Volante. I, Brother Wycliffe Mwembe Mumia. I, Brother George Fernandez. I, Brother Kutamba Kodabakia. Wishing as far as I am able to to provide for the present and future well-being of the, the congregation swear to remain faithful to our apostolate among the poor and to the spirit of poverty expressed by the constitutions by making this commitment never to agree either in the chapter or in the exercise of the work for which I am responsible to any changes allowing relaxation in this regard. Lord God, creator of the world and father of all, we praise you and give you thanks for the bond of love. You can maintain that with us and deter it by sin and by the work of your hands. In Abraham, the father of believers, you called a multitude of peoples to walk in the shadow of your faithfulness. In your servant Moses sent to the oppressed, you open up the path of hope in the land of exile and of tears. In the prophets of Israel, you spoke to the heart of the people in darkness, setting a light their desire for a savior. In the fullness of time, you sent your son into the world firstborn of the new creation, reconciled in love, calling a people of every tongue and nation to the inexceptible source of life spring from his pierced heart. And so, by the gift of his spirit, you form the church, his mystical body, consecrating her to the same mission of carrying the gospel to the ends of the earth. Now, Father, look with favor on these sons of yours, whom you call to be with Christ forever. In the practice of the evangelical councils, pour into their hearts your Holy Spirit, that they may call all things to be a laws. Compared to a sublime knowledge of your Son, may they share intensely in his merciful love, making the cause of the poorest and most abundant their own. As heard of San Luigi Orione Apostolic Seal, in the institute he wanted to be a cynical apostle, may these brothers of ours, under, under the guidance of the Blessed Virgin Mary, through all their energies into the proclamation of the gospel. Lord, may they so abundantly on earth the hope that never fails and grant them at the end of their life to be received into your heavenly Jerusalem in the company 
of a multitude of brothers and sisters to Christ our Lord. Kwa sasa kile ambacho kitafuatilia kila mmoja atapokea msalaba kutoka kwa pande mjumbe mkuu na msalaba huu ni ishara ya upendo ule Kristu anawashirikisha ndugu wa wetu siku hii ya leo Receive the cross of Christ sign of resurrection and life May it remind you of constant apostolic commitment to participate in the mystery of Easter for the salvation of your brothers and sisters. Receive the cross of Christ, a sign of resurrection and life. May it remind you of constant apostolic commitment to participate in the mystery of Easter for the salvation of your brothers and sisters. The cross of Christ, a sign of resurrection and life, may it remind you of constant apostolic commitment to participate in the mystery of Easter for the salvation of your brothers and sisters. Receive the cross of Christ, a sign of resurrection and life. May it remind you of the constant apostolic commitment to participate in the mystery of Easter for the salvation of your brothers and sisters. Receive the cross of Christ, a sign of resurrection and life. May it remind you of constant apostolic commitment to participate in the mystery of Easter for the salvation of your brothers and sisters. Dear beloved brothers, in the name of the church and the congregation, we are happy to receive you among the sons of divine providence as confreres committed with perpetual vows. From now on, and everything will be held in common among us. May this brotherly embrace be a sign of this communion of life in Jesus, in Christ Jesus our Lord. Kwa sasa tumepata members wa shirika la mtakatifu Don Orione tumepata members wengine watano na tuwapokea na tuwasherekee kwa shangwe video na teremo Kwa sasa tawalika tawalika watao wote waliuko hapa walio na nadhiri za daima kujongea mbele na kuwapa hawa ndugu salamu zao zahiri njema Karibuni the finally professed Kwaya tuwe na wii Ne tunaweza kuketi Oh, my God. 
tutapokea salamu kutoka kwa hawa ndugu hmm. wetu ambao wamepokea dalili za mwisho. Tuzipokee kwa shangwe vipindi vinaendelea. <tos> that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. As we celebrate with joy the Nativity of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we bring you our offerings, O Lord, and we humbly pray to be given strength by the humanity of your Son, who from her was pleased to take flesh, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your Lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, mm. Almighty and Eternal God, and to praise, bless, and glorify your name in the birthday of the Blessed Virgin Mary. For by the overshadowing of the Holy Spirit, she conceived your only begotten Son, and without losing the glory of virginity, brought forth into the world to eternal light, Jesus Christ our Lord. Through him 
The angels praise your majesty. Dominions adore and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exultation. May our voices, we pray, we join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. rightly give you praise for through your son our lord jesus christ by the power and work of the holy spirit you give life to all things and make them holy and you never cease to gather a people to yourself so that from the rising of the sun to its setting a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name therefore o lord we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, gracious is made holy, this gift we have brought for, to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, 
which will be brought out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in transgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we, who are nourished by the body and blood of your son, and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with the elect, especially the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, as we celebrate her nativity. With your blessed apostles, glorious martyrs, with Saint Louis Giorgione, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing time. May the sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis, our Pope, and David Kamau, our Bishop, the Order of Bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Strengthen in their holy resolve, O Lord, these your servants, who today have bound themselves to you perpetually in the sacred bonds of religious profession and grant that they may show forth in your church the new and eternal life purchased for us by Christ's redemption. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory, through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O oh God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and
the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Amen. Let us look by each other and sign of peace by bowing. takes away the sins of the world, blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb.
family from Kakamega, we want to thank you so much for this day. And uh, we still say congratulations, and uh, may we have a good day today. My name is Sister Maria Goretti. I stay in Busia, at the border of Uganda. Thank you very much. Asante sana sister tu msherekee kwa makofi anapoenda kukaa chini anayeongea wa pili ni anaongea kwa diaba ya wale ambao wamepokea ni wamepokea nadhiri za daima brother Wycliffe mumia karibu sana The distinguished guests, all protocol observed. God is good. Tumsifu Yesu Christu. Watu wakakamega mpo. Kandisi mpo. Karibuni sana. Today, we have gathered here to celebrate our perpetual profession and first of all we want to thank almighty god for having planned this day that all we should gather here we want to thank our parents wherever they are that they have taken care of us since we were young they have educated us they have accepted us to join religious life. Thank you very much and may God bless you and give you good health and long life. We want to thank in absentia our general superior, Father Reverend, very Reverend Father Tarcisio Veira for having admitted us to proclaim these solemn vows. We want to thank our delegate superior, Father Marcelo Daniel Boschi, for having traveled all the way from Italy to grace this day. Thank you very much, Father. God bless you. We want to thank our regional superior and the formation team for everything. They have supported us since we joined this congregation, some 12 years, some 11, some 10. We say thank you, God bless you all. We want to thank all the priests present here who have left their schedule to come and witness with us this day. God bless you, priests who are here present. We want to thank religi all religious men and women, the brothers, students of Tangaza University, all the Christians who have come here today to be with us. God bless you all. We want to send our regards to our parishes, Sacred Heart, Mukumu Parish, to the parish priest and the team, Our Lady of Assumption in India, our Lady of Immaculate Conception and the parish of Our Lady of Divine Providence in Philippines. May God bless them all. We want to thank the family of Onzom, Orina, and Mother Onzom, the Dominican sisters, the Carmelite sisters, the Assumption sisters, Adorno fathers, Sisters of Immaculate Conception, where we did our last retreat just a few days ago. We want to thank Father Alphone Marie Babegal of the Holy Parish, Kaleng, Diocese of Lodwa. We want to thank Father Victor Philip Temanil, Kalkor, Diocese of Lodwa. Filipino community in Kenya, St. Luke Parish, Loitoktok. Gong Diocese, Father Edward, Tajeu, Father Anthony, Shayo, Father Anthony Mogo, the family of 
Veronica Mutarin Tiambati and Mam Lut, the family of Antapa, the family of Inas, Father Jacob of Mill Hill Missionaries. We want to thank our choir, wonderful, the brothers of Donorione, for singing very well. God bless you all. We want also to say thank you for everybody living outside no one. We say thank you very much. Merci beaucoup. Nera Magabe. Danya Wadagalu. Maraming Salamat Sayong Lahat Mabuhai. Asante ni sana. Muriomno Nyasai Abalind. Asante sana brother Wikliff kwa hiyo hotuba yako njema sana ambayo pia imekuwa na lugha ambazo zimetoka nchi za kigeni. Kwa sasa namwalika padri msimamizi wa shirika Father Anthony Jenga atupe hotuba yake na akishamaliza atamwalika mjumbe mkuu wa ujumbe huwe. Karibu sana Father. God is good and all the time tuwapigie makofi wenzetu. We are happy today to celebrate our brothers, Antero, John Carl, Wycliffe, George, and Pierre. Today you have committed yourself to the Lord, to the congregation, the whole of your life. You have been doing it yearly. Every year you renew your commitment. But now you decide to say yes for life to the Lord. That's why we are happy to celebrate with you. We are happy to celebrate also the parent because for sure it's a gift you have given to the church you have allowed them to follow their vocation so we thank you wazazi tunashukuru kwa kuweza kukubali wito wa ndugu zetu kuweza kumtumikia Mungu here in Kenya we are celebrating 25 years and this year has been a year of blessing we have had priestly ordination then we have perpetual profession and we thank God because it's a blessing at the end of this year we are going to conclude our silver jubilee in Kenya that means it's a year of blessing here in a special way we want to thank Father Marcelo our delegate superior for your closeness to the region and for coming here in Kenya to grace this occasion and to receive the vows of our brothers. Thank you for everything. My dear brothers, I would like to give my, my message to you and I would like to use the words of Don Orione, our founder. First of all, his dream of the blue mantle when he sees people of different colors, races. Here you are. His dream continues to be realized. Here you are to represent and to come to fulfillment, to bring to fulfillment, as you have said, the consecration you got through baptism. But at the same time, to say that his dream of the blue mantle is true. I would like just to touch what Don Orione said. I don't know to add much of what, on top of what Father Marcelo said during the homily, but Don Orione says, what does it mean to be consecrated? He just gives us five points. I would like just to remind you, according to Don Orione, our holy founder, says when we consecrate ourselves, we mean that we want to love God with all our heart as his most dear sons. This is what you have said today, without a divided heart. But he says, seeking in everything both his grace and his glory only. The second point he says, you are consecrated to strive for perfection. Today you are, you are consecrated for life so that you can strive for perfection. Not because you are perfect, but because you are going to strive for it. Then he says, we are consecrated so that we form ourselves on Jesus Christ through the mystery of the cross. 
We want to make our lives the very life of Christ. We are consecrated so that we can reflect the life of Christ to the world. And then he says, and as Father Marcelo mentioned in his homily, loving each other as Christ loved us, knowing that we the sons of divine providence, humility and charity are our uniform. So we have a uniform of humility and charity. Be ready to wear that uniform. And finally he says, possessing through our love of God, boundless love for the lowest and most abandoned brothers and sisters. To be ready to welcome them, to serve them, to be with them. Because in every person shines the image of God. But he emphasizes especially those who are burdened. So all the best. God bless you. You have said you want with our brother communion and grace of God to be faithful. But I assure you, God will be faithful always. Because you have given yourself and your life to him. He promises his faithfulness. God bless you. Asante ni sana kwa kuja. Mungu wa now at this juncture, I would like to welcome Father Marcelo for your final message, for your final remarks. Everything was said and everything was thanked. But I was thinking now, watching all of you, particularly in the communion, I saw all my brother's priests, particularly those who were ordained a few months ago. I will invite them as the final blessing to accompany me. So this blessing is not mine, it's from God. But for all those fresh hands have been anointed. Just a message to them because I couldn't be. I was really hopeful enough to be here for their ordination. Since Ian on the, May, on the month of May, then the other priests come in laterly. Father Dennis, Father Thomas, Father Augustus, so the four last priests in the region. I kiss your hands. Please keep your oil fresh in your hands. So you remind forever what is the reason for what you are becoming a priest. I kiss your hands. When I saw you, when you came, I kissed your hands to make you see that through your hands, God is expecting to do a lot, extending through your ministry many good for many people. For five of you, we have brothers that represent the small world of the Donorione here in Kenya, people from Philippines, people from India, people from West Africa, like, like brother Pierre from Togo, we have weekly from Kenya. This is a representation of the charity in the world about Donorione. It's extending its branches, no? With arms. Just to hack the world through charity. So you are growing on this. You are the branches of this tree. But watching here all of you Kenyans, I praise God for this place. I love very much this region. I hope this region will be blessed with the new openings very soon, extending us more than the borders that we can find. That is the goal. Because being just together needs to be the explosion of charity among us through fraternity, through our charism but particularly because we love God and what we are doing. To the respective community house, the philosopher and the theologians, thank you so much. I know how hard you work during this celebration, but it's joy for you. One day all of you will be there, and you will be happy that so many brothers are going to prepare this for you. So that is the joy. I was watching yesterday, or even though when I came back on I came on Monday practicing songs, preparing yesterday here with the help of the nuns, the flowers, preparing and detailing everything. No? These balloons that means the joy of this day. 
brothers, if we are not happy, if our heart is not full of joy, what is the reason to be here? Please, express this joy. So thank you, Father Anthony Jenga. Thank you, Father Malcolm. Thank you to all of you who are coming, even though to share our joy. I pr there are priests from some other congregations. Huh? I see the brothers over there, sisters. Thank you so much. Let us change the world because we are witness of that. Let us stand and prepare ourselves for the blessing. Basi, kabla ya baraka za mwisho, ningependa kusema kwamba, tukimaliza kuzipokea zile baraka, mabruda awa watano, watajongea fambele ya altari, watakuwa na picha kwa pamoja, wakiwa pamoja na mapadu ambao waliweza kufika. Awa mabruda pia, wametuandalia keki kubwa ambayo na yona pale, tutashudia wakikata. Na pia wametuandalia chakula cha mchana ambacho pia wanatualika tuweze kukipata na brother Antero Meos ataweza kutuongoza kwa sala kabla ya kukata keki wanakwaya wakituongoza kwa wimbo watawa wetu wa shirika la Donorione watusaidia ku distribute hizo keki asanteni sana I invite here Father Ian Father Augustus Father Thomas and Father Dennis the newest priest in the region to accompany me and this blessing to the people of God. The Lord be with you. May God, who through the child bearing of the Blessed Virgin Mary, will in his great kindness to redeem the human race, be pleased to enrich you with his blessing. May you know always and everywhere to protection of her through whom you have been found worthy to receive the altar of life. May you, who have the bodily gathered on this day, carry away with you the gift of spiritual joys and heavenly rewards. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And this blessing come down on you and remain with you forever. Our Mass is ended. Let us go in the peace of Christ. Bless us, O oh Lord.
in these thy gifts which are about to receive from thy bounty. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Wanakwaya mtatuongoza kwa wimbo wa kukata keki. Asante. Saidia kupatiana keki. Karibuni masista wetu. Chakula kiko kule upande wa chini Tukiteremka na hii barabara ambayo kona kabro Kule kwa njiba ya filosofia Tutawaza kupata chakula Kisha tukimaliza kupata chakula Tumaweza rudi Tuweze kukaa mahali ambako tumekaa Na kukila chakula chetu